हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज फ्री नीट फाउंडेशन क्लासेस फॉर नीट एस्पेरेंट्स व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ नीट नेशनल एलिजिबिलिटी कम एंट्रेंस टेस्ट इट इज अ सिंगल लेवल नेशनल एग्जाम कैरीड आउट फॉर द मेडिकल एस्पेरेंट्स एनेबलिंग देम टू सीक एडमिशंस टू द मेडिकल कोर्सेज अक्रॉस द डिफरेंट मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ द कंट्री यू ऑलरेडी नो एम बी बी एस दैट इज बैचलर ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड बैचलर ऑफ सर्जरी वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट्स टॉट इन एम बी बी एस लेट एस सी एनाटोमी बायो केमिस्ट्री फॉरेंसिक मेडिसिन एंडोक्राइनोलॉजी ई एन टी डर्मेटोलॉजी कार्डियो वस्कुलर डिजीज अनस्टिशियोलॉजी कम्युनिटी हेल्थ गैस्ट्रो एंटरोलॉजी मेडिसिन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी नेफ्रोलॉजी ऑप्थलमोलॉजी आर्थोपेडिक्स ऑब्स्टेट्रिक्स एंड गायनेकोलॉजी पीडियाट्रिक्स साइकियाट्री रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सर्जरी फार्माकोलॉजी लेट एस स्टार्ट हियर सम बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन इज देयर बायो मीन्स लिविंग लॉजी स्टडी द स्टडी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इज कॉल्ड बायोलॉजी बायोलॉजी इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ द साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स यस देर आर फाइव किंगडम्स मोनेरा protista fungi plantae and animalia fungi is also known as mycota plantae is also known as metaphyta animalia is also known as metazoa in these five kingdoms the first one is monera let us see some general characteristics these monerans are prokaryotes already you know prokaryotes means without definite nucleus all bacteria are included under monerans okay so there is no membrane bound organelles organelles which are present inside the cell they do not bear membranes monerans are purely unicellular organisms the organisms whose body is made up of single cell is called unicellular these monerans have different shapes cocci that is spherical bacilli rod shaped vibrio comma shaped spirulum that is spiral shaped spherical shaped that is cocci bacteria if they are combined two that is called as diplococci if they are linear combined more joined more that is streptococcus if they are in colonial form we call it as staphylococcus bacilli that is rod shaped microorganisms or bacterians if they are two in number if they are joined two we call it as a diplobacilli if these bacilli bacteria are linear more in number we call it as a streptobacilli so these monerans are found everywhere normal and in extreme conditions also there are four classes in monera archaebacteria eubacteria chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria heterotrophic bacteria First let us study about archaea bacteria some bacteria live in extreme salt conditions like oceans seas those type of organisms are called as halophiles some bacterians can live in the high temperature very high temperature like rajasthan in deserts they live those organisms are called as thermophiles some organisms that is bacterians they live in basic highly basic condition that is alkaline condition extreme alkaline those are called as alkali files some group of bacteria live in highly acidic condition that is acidophiles some group of bacteria are there they can live even in less water or no water those type of organisms are called as xerophiles and some bacteria they release methane gas this type of organisms methanogens they are present in gut of ruminants and also in drainage you can get a foul smell there because of release of methane gas and some bacteria they live in hot springs those group of bacteria are called as thermoacidophiles so these are the some of the group of the bacteria which comes under archaea bacteria archaea bacteria comes under monera kingdom that is the first kingdom Now let us move towards second class that is eubacteria these eubacteria are also called as cyanobacteria 
and some of the general characters let us see here they have rigid cell wall and the cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan and some have flagella not all bacteria some of the u bacteria they have flagella flagella is a locomotory organ uh, that helps in moving from one place to another place and these are unicellular photosynthetic photosynthetic means already you know they can prepare their own food by using the sunlight and also these are single celled organisms examples blue green algae is a best example for unicellular photosynthetic uh, that is also known as cyanobacteria so this is the first organism which appeared on the earth some eu bacteria they live in filamentous form and some live in colonial form that is in group another characteristic is they are surrounded by gelatinous sheath an extra layer will be covered by the body that is gelatinous sheath few cells fix nitrogen in specialized cells called heterocyst these are the group of the bacteria they can fix the nitrogen examples blue green algae nostoc anabena etc third class of archaea bacteria that is chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria the name itself says that chemosynthetic that is with the help of chemicals they can prepare their own food so first general characteristic of these organisms are depend on inorganic substances to prepare their food yes depend upon inorganic substances that is chemicals and the second general characteristic is important in recycling of various nutrients like sulfur iron nitrogen etc so these these elements will be recycled back to the nature fourth class of archaea bacteria that is known as heterotrophic bacteria heterotrophic means they cannot prepare their own food but they depend on another other organism for food so some of the general characteristics of these organisms let us see now most abundant these organisms are more in number on the earth and these organisms are decomposers specially decomposers means they feed on dead and decay organisms so that is known as decomposers and these are commercially exploited by human beings so human beings use these organisms to prepare antibiotics as well as the preparation of nitrogen and the next general characteristic of heterotrophic bacteria is these are pathogens what do you mean by pathogens the disease causing organisms are called as pathogens these are highly dangerous so next general characteristic is asexual reproduction takes place uh, how binary fission binary by means two fission means divide a parent cell divides into two daughter cells is called binary fission so in unfavorable conditions if condition environment condition is not good so how they reproduce by spore formation in 10th standard already you have studied the binary fission spore formation these are a sexual mode of reproduction and the sexual reproduction also takes place here so you can see in this diagram two bacterians they are coming near and something is joining like bridge and genetic material will be exchanged this is sexual reproduction and the uh, connecting center is called as pilus and this procedure is known as conjugation so these are the four classes of bacteria which comes under monera that is archaea bacteria eu bacteria chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria heterotrophic bacteria yeah. next mycoplasma pplo what do you mean by pplo pleuro pneumonia like organisms these organisms are very 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 small than microorganisms so these are smallest organisms among all and they lack cell wall they do not have cell wall that is pleuro pneumonia like organisms and they survive without oxygen so this is one of the uh, characteristic important characteristics the organisms which survive without oxygen if they ask so you have to tell mycoplasm that is pplo the last general characteristic of this organisms is 
pathogenic what do you mean by pathogenic the disease causing organisms are called pathogenic this mycoplasm or pplo they are highly pathogenic so by this we have completed monera so in the next video so let us continue the next kingdom that is protista until then keep learning keep smiling for free neat classes subscribe my channel please like and share until then take care bye bye